Converse offered me the most money. So, you know, when you take the money. Phil Knight came in and said, hey, I can't offer you the same type of money, but I can offer you stock. And I didn't know nothing about it. And my family didn't come from money. Yeah. See, that's mm -hmm. one thing that hurt us sometimes when you don't come from money. I didn't even know what right. stocks was at right. that time. So I passed on the stocks. Can you imagine 45 years, Oof. $5 billion Oof. that stock would have been worth today. Oof. Wow. That is Magic Johnson. Welcome back to the Savvy Investor Radio Show and Podcast. That's after winning the Michigan State Spartans when they won the NCAA basketball title in 1979. He was offered uh, shoe contracts uh, with both Converse and Nike, and he turned them down. Can you believe that? Have you guys e ever seen anybody that that um, that has done something like that that you guys think, man, what a, what a bad mistake? But let's not feel bad for Magic Johnson because he's also worth six hundred and twenty million dollars so yeah so ryan and i are still waiting for our, our contract offers from uh nike and, and, <laughs> and those, for, for, for those those tennis shoe you know I, I mean i think i think we talk about you know missed opportunities but you know since we're on that sport theme right now think about bobby bonilla right what is it yep. May first? bobby yep. bonilla, bobby bonilla day. day you know way back when I don't know, 30 years ago when he was playing for the mets he deferred his payments he got a million dollars a year for like 30 or 40 years. And what, what, what a great strategy that was. He didn't need the money then. He spread the income over his lifetime. Incredible. I mean, Alvin Iverson did the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, I think at, uh, at 60 or 62, he was getting 30 to 50 million. All that, all, all that tennis shoe money, he yeah. deferred it all because he knew he was going to need it later in life. He wanted to make sure he had that income stream as he got older. And he knew he could work up until that point. So so yeah, you know, Magic Johnson missed out on an opportunity to to maybe have you know billions instead of hundreds yeah. of millions. Um, but you're right; I, I don't feel too bad for him. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be just fine. But, but having said that, I, I do recognize that there are there are opportunity costs not only on the investment side mm -hmm. but on the tax side of people not getting the right advice at the right time in their lives. And, and I always equate this to going to a doctor, you know, I, I just turned 61 recently. And, and, you know, as I, as I go in for my annual checkups, I notice that my doctor is having me go to more and more doctors, more and more specialists every mm -hmm. time I get in there. And, and on, on one hand, it's like, I keep thinking to myself, wow, am I really falling apart that bad? <laughs> but I appreciate the fact that she's making the referral to somebody who specializes in the health of 55 and 60 year olds, right? I mean, when I was a child, just like you, you know, we, we brought our kids to pediatricians, you know, Ryan, you still go to a pediatrician with your girls and, you know, you, you, you took yours to a pediatrician. I took mine to pediatricians. Mm -hmm. But as we get older, we need that person who is really more focused on making sure that at this point in our life, we're getting the right health care, but also we should be focusing on getting the right advice givers. And, and, and that's really, to me, my, my takeaway from Magic Johnson is that he didn't have the right advice givers when he was, you know, 30 in the tennis shoot errors, but clearly he has the right tax advisors and right advice givers now, because even though he gave up that lucrative contract, like you said, he's worth a half a billion dollars plus. Mm -hmm. And, and I promise you, he didn't make a half a billion dollars playing basketball. It's because of the subsequent investments that he made. It's the, the tax strategies that employed, you know, after, after, playing basketball it was all the things that he's done in the last 30 years of his life or 40 years of his life that have proven so valuable to put him up into that next uh stratosphere right. uh, 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 of net worth and assets now obviously ryan are big believers that all of our clients should have half a billion dollars or more when they come to see <laughs> it. But, but we're we're willing to we're willing to drop the threshold for our radio listeners and quite honestly if you say five hundred thousand dollars or more towards your retirement and you want to truly understand how to make that money work best for you. And work best for you is how is it going to last during your retirement to make sure you have the income you need each and every month during your retirement years. I mean, you need to replace a paycheck. We can show you how to do that. If you want to understand how to make the investments in a, in a strategically smart way, taking the least amount of risk necessary to accomplish your goals. If you want to understand how to get yourself in a tax bracket as close to including 0% tax bracket, give us a call at 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040.
sit down with myself, Ryan, and our team, and we will show you how to create income streams that you will never outlive. We're going to talk to you about how much you're paying in fees. We're going to talk to you about estate planning, long-term care, how much risk you're actually taking, and taxes, taxes, taxes. Three-plus years of the lowest tax rate you've ever seen in your life. Give us a call, 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040. And you know what? Magic Johnson, I know you're listening out there. Give us a call, 866-597-1040. And hey, if you can't because you're busy or you're going somewhere, just write down the SavvyInvestorRadio.com or just ask that person next to you, one of your handlers, just to say, hey, just, just go on the SavvyInvestorRadio.com and get some time with Mike and Ryan. Get on that 401k x-ray, click on that button, and that'll get you started with them. But as we're talking about, uh, you know, I guess regret and, and going back in time and fixing things, we've all heard, hey, if I would have bought Home Depot stock, Back in the day, I would have been, you know, I would have been a millionaire, so on and so forth. Um, Principal Insurance Company, they did uh, a survey of retirees and they asked them what would they do differently. And overwhelmingly, they said that they would have started planning earlier and they would have taken advantage of their 401k matching uh, options uh, with their employer. Ryan, do you see that uh, when people come to see you guys, do you do you see that they wish that they would have started planning earlier for retirement and not, you know, being so rushed, I guess, as they're getting closer to that date? Yeah, absolutely. Everyone, everyone always says, you know, I really wish that I had started doing my putting money in my 401k earlier. I, mm -hmm. I wish I had tried to do a Roth IRA earlier in my career. I wish that I, I had started to have these, these Roth conversion conversations, uh, back in 2018 when they, when they passed these laws instead of, you know, now when, when we're kind of running out of time. Right. And I think that that's, you know, the kind of water under the bridge for most people they've accepted it, they've moved on and they're, they're really working hard to, to, to save money. But I think it translates more into what our clients are, are telling their children when they are, are just starting out in the workforce, you know, mm -hmm. they, they always come to, to Mike and I and, and, and our team here and they say, what should I tell, you know, my son, what should I tell my daughter? She just got her first job She's making 60, $70,000 a year. What should I tell them? You know, where should the money go? You know, we always talk about the importance of, of tax-free money and, you know, kind of what we always say now for the most part is if your company has that Roth 401k available to you, that is where the majority of their retirement savings should be going because, you know, in, in the theme of taxes, taxes are going to go up in the future, especially over, you know, the next 30 or 40 years that most of our clients have, but certainly for their kids, this 40, 50, 60, 70 years of their lifetime, taxes absolutely have to go up. But the important part of all of it is starting early mm -hmm. with the planning process. You can't wait you know, uh, uh, 10, 15, 20 years into your career to start thinking about retirement, just like you can't start thinking about retirement, putting together a plan for retirement, putting together a tax plan, putting together an <clears throat> income plan when you're six months, a year out from, from retirement. These are things that take time to put these tax plans in place. It's not as if Mike and I have this magic wand where we kind of, we wave it around your tax return and, and boom, all of a sudden you're paying 0% taxes. These oh, wait, 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 wait. I do have <laughs> literally I just come in and what's the, you know, the hocus pocus, is not that <laughs> whatever uh, Harry Potter does that. Blah, 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 yeah. I've that, never that, seen that. Harry like, Potter. like pixie dust, like magic pixie dust. No, exactly. Right. Something I, like that. And you doing the, the Disney channel where they make the, the Mickey mouse ears. That's yeah. what they used to there do. You go, there you go. Uh, but you know, it, it's not like there's a magic <laughs> wand. These things take time. The planning process takes time just because you can, convert all $500,000 of your 401k or all million dollars of your 401k in one year doesn't mean you necessarily should because you're going to get absolutely crushed in taxes. It takes time for us to put these retirement plans in place to plan out your income in retirement. It takes time to plan out taxes for you in retirement where we're moving small amounts, small to medium, medium amounts out of your IRAs and into these 401ks and spreading it out. So that way the the opportunity costs, the taxes that you're paying is not so high that the point at which it, it made sense for you kind of becomes impossible. And if you want to find out more about what 
proper planning can look like for you. If you're sitting there and you're thinking, my advisor is not talking to me about the risk in my portfolio, They're not talking to me about the fees that I'm paying. They're not talking to me about taxes in my portfolio. Or whenever I ask them about retirement, they just say, oh yeah, based on these projections, you're going to be fine. I encourage you to give us a call at 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040 and sit down with Mike, myself, and our team here at ProStatus, and we'll put together your very own comprehensive retirement plan that talks about the fees you're paying, talks about the risks you're taking. We're going to talk about taxes. We're going to talk about estate planning. And most importantly, making sure that you have those guaranteed streams of income in retirement. 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040. So many people take advantage of that uh, offer right there from Mike Cadet, from Ryan Herbert and the team at ProStatus here in Baltimore in the Maryland, D.C. area to make sure that they're on the right path for retirement. You can call now and ask for that 401k x-ray and portfolio protection plan as Ryan is talking about. Again, 866-597-1040 and online at the SavvyInvestorRadio.com made it even easier for you that way. You can go to the SavvyInvestorRadio.com and click on the button there that says 401k x-ray and that'll get you started. Again, the SavvyInvestorRadio.com and we want you to stay with us because we're going to talk about the great wealth transfer as it's being called, and it's happening over the next 20 years, and many people are not prefer, uh, prepared for this massive windfall inheritance, but you listening today and watching are in a much better spot because Mike Kinnett is an estate planning attorney with a master's degree in taxation and financial planner. Ryan Herbert is a financial and tax planner and 12-time five-star wealth management award winner, ready to help you make these important decisions about your retirement and transferring wealth to your family that you love so much. Stay with us here on the Savvy Investor radio show and podcast. Glad you're with us.